Welcome back, guys, to Entre Nos. I'm Evelyn and my co-host is... Alondra. And today we have a lot of things happening. We actually yes. got sponsored by Premium Goodies. So thank you, Destiny, for giving us some of your goodies. Well, that didn't sound right. Some of your business goodies. Para los mal pensados, it didn't sound right. Yeah. Um, and we're excited because today's our 50th episode. I if you weren't pregnant, I would have been like, let's take, let's sip on a beer. And I would have been like, no, either way. No, not, not, not like a fruity beer. Fíjate que no. No? Mm -hmm. Well, last, I would have probably How gotten you a margarita. Yeah. The, the other one I had got you last time. I think I would have ended up buying you that or whatever so we can, you know, take a little sip or whatever. And I don't want to drink by myself. So I'm about to finish my sangria. I gave some to Milo and he I told him it. it was beer. And he didn't want to drink it because he said, like, I think it looked like a beer, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So he didn't want to drink it. So we're like, no, it's not. And then he was drinking it. And I'm like, it's beer. He's like, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. Le voy a decir adiosito. <laughs> Dude, para todo, literally. Le voy a decir adiosito. I'm going to tell adiosito. I'm going to tell adiosito. <laughs> but guys, um, if y'all are watching, thank y'all uh, for being here with us. We're going to announce our... Hundred dollar gift card win uh, giveaway winner mm -hmm. in just a few. We have the names right here, and uh, we're also gonna try all of these. Yes, I'm and so rate excited. them. I know she just dropped them off too. So keep in mind, guys, if y'all are ever interested in sponsoring, you know, um, you know, some of your snacks or anything mm -hmm. that you have in your business, feel free to reach out to either of us, Roland, Ronnie, or Rob, and. Um, Another thing, we also have ad space and you can sponsor like a full episode. Just mm -hmm. reach out to us and we'll give you, you know, prices on Small that. Small fee. Yeah. Um, other than that, what do you want to do first? The giveaway or the candies? Mm, let's keep them waiting. For the giveaway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep y'all waiting for Alrighty. the second segment. Uh, you just want to try the candy. Yeah, I'm like, come on. <laughs> where's the candy? Okay. Which one did you want to try? Um, I don't so, know. Let's just start. Which one's that one? The gummy worms. Gummy worms? Okay. You can open it. Let's see. She did say that they did mm. ha have like a... Como que estaban poquito más... Picositos. Yeah. Mmm, dude. I really... Smell it? I like... Oh. Dang. Yeah. It smells like it's what it's supposed to smell like. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oof. Se me hizo como like agua la boca. Yeah. She said that we can honestly, honestly rate them. Yeah, she's she asked for it, and she's brutally honest, so we'll see. Dude, this is really good. I'm not a big gummy worms. But the sabor del chile is really good. It's a little spicy. No, it's perfect. But you know what I like that? I like that they're not like gooey. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí me yeah, a veces que you can't even take them apart. And she said they don't use. She doesn't use tahine, right? No, she doesn't. So what is this? It looks like tahine, but she probably does. She's not giving. She's not giving us any ingredient. <laughs> she said she doesn't. She doesn't use tahine. I'm wondering if it's another kind of like como Miguelito. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Yeah. It's good. Mm. It's a little too spicy for you. It's a little too sour for me, but she did say that they're sour gummy worms. You know what I mean? Mm. They're all come kind of sour. I've never had a chamoy covered candy. I mean, not sorry. What? <laughs> I've never had a chamoy covered gummy mm. gummy worm. So it was kind of different for me, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was a little spicy. I'm Salvadorian, so I don't eat spicy like that, you know, yeah. unless it's hot Cheetos. Yeah, it's not it's not spicy at all. But it's not. If you Mexican, you could take it. Yeah. Okay, the next one. This <clears> one <throat> is. Damn, I feel like we're doing the. Ay, on the mics. Pero no se escucha. ¿Qué es esto? SP watermelons? What does that mean? SP. Oh, Sour Patch watermelon. Okay. Oh, I like those. <laughs> Are these the ones that you're like, I want these? Mm-hmm. I just asked her for whatever. See, I like that they're not gooey. Mm -hmm. Or do you, you can think they're gooey? Pick them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes you just have to mm -hmm. like. There's bags that you have to kind of slide them up because that's all like a juice. Mm -hmm. This one's good. It's not as sour. I 
don't know, just... Se sabe la paleta. I like that one more than the... Mm -hmm. It's not as spicy, por eso. The candy is more sweet, that's why maybe. Mm -hmm. Ya se me pegó en las molas. Mm -hmm. This is bothering Nos me. va a dar chorro. <laughs> mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Pero sí se me pegó también. Mm -hmm. But I think that's what... That's what the candy is, no? Mm -hmm. This one is... Honestly, I love the wrapping. It's pretty dope. The wrapping is really nice. You're talking about the presentation of like how it looks? Yeah. I mean, I think it's cool how it's... I mean, I love like black um, bags, you know. Out of these two, I like the gummies. Well, the you gu requested the, the gummies, The too. gummy worms. Yeah, I like them better. Out of them, too. Mm. <clears throat> this one says sandias. I'm, I don't know what kind of sandias. Okay. Okay. Kind of like... Not like the same. Mmm. Mm -hmm. These are really good. Mm-hmm. I like this one more. Mm -hmm. They don't stick to your molas. Mm -hmm. This is Sour Patch? Yeah. Oh, Sour Patch watermelons. But those do stick to your molas, mm -hmm. whether it's with chamoy or not. Mm. This is just sandias. It's pretty good. I, like, I think out of these three, I like this one. And um, because I think the cami, the cami, the candy in general, it's tama suave, so it kind of goes more with the chamoy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like faster to finish. Yeah. You finish it faster. Yeah. That was our life I was like, <laughs> <laughs> taking my sweet time. Ooh, this is sour straws. Ooh, those are like the red ones, right? Yeah, that's going to be sour. You think so? Yeah. The sh the I like those, straws though. Are, are pretty sour. Remember, I used to have them in my sweet. You did? Mm hmm. We could always get some. Those? No, not those. Mm -hmm. They're unos palos. The color is green, red, blue. I know que son los palos. The straws, right? The straws, yeah. Ooh, <coughs> I they don't sell them in Sam's anymore. Oh! Here. Oh, yes, you're right. The individual ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Really, really good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, but it's still sour. It's just still sour. Mm hmm. Dude, this hit. Do you eat this with a beer? You like no. you eat this and no. drink? No, nope. can't. Why? I don't like to eat when I'm drinking. Why? I don't think that they food, go together. Yeah, I don't think food and beer go together. But I know people eat them like that. But it's just a snack. Yeah, no, I can't. Mm. I, me personally, I don't. I just rather drink. The only thing I probably would like to eat is like ceviche or something. Then mm. it gets como fresh. Something like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, not gonna lie. These were sour. Mm -hmm. I'm already hesitant about eating this You're one. Like, but never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Milo. <laughs> Don't do it, pobrecito. You think he won't you think it's spicy for him? Um Milo. <laughs> yeah. Milo. <laughs> we're gonna call him and I'm gonna give it to him. Because honestly, I think it's sour. Mm -hmm, it is. Babe. He wanted to try some, but we told him that they were spicy. Yeah. He won't cry, though, right? Nah, he won't cry. Mm. Milo! Here, grab this. It's candy. Hey, watch out, watch out, watch out. With the camera behind I you. Stop doing that. Oh, never mind. You don't want to eat it? But you don't want to try it? It's, it's not spicy. Mm -mm, it's it's sour. sour. It's like yeah. a sour thing. If it's spicy, you can drink water. It's not spicy. Milo, the candy. No? He got trust issues. His parents play with him too much. <laughs> okay, grab it. Give, give half to puppy. Yeah, just eat a little bit. <laughs> so, the Mr. Producer's trying it. What do you think, babe? <gasps> <He's kidding. laughs> he started gagging. He's no, kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> Oh, está asustado. 
Isn't that spicy? No. What did you think about the sourness? <laughs> He's <for> slobbery. <laughs> It's not for me, lo. It's not for he him. He said no. Nope. He's not big on eating. Um, Esto se le salió la baba de. Se le hizo agua la boca. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last. Oh, saved best for, for last. You think? Gushers. The gushers? I love gushers. Se explotan, right? Whenever you put it in your mouth. This is one of my favorite candies, like, ever. I feel like it's just. Um, I'm not a candy person. Um. I think I'm more of a chips girl yeah, over same. candies. But gushers are good. Here. Mm, mm. That's good. Yeah. Wow. Vamos a quitarle half of it the Ronnie. I'm like, I'm pregnant. I'm They're not Ronnie. Some... These are mine. Really? We all asked for gushers. Really? So then I told her, just give me one of whatever. Yeah. Because I didn't want to be like, give me three gushers, you know? True. So I was like, give me one of whatever you have. Mm-hmm. I know, I told her, like, I saw the list and I just picked whatever. One of whatever. So, sorry, Ronnie. You're going to have your try and I'm going to keep the rest. <laughs> no, okay, but you're going to give me, like, half of that bag and I'm going to give you half of mine. Okay, I don't want half of that one, but <laughs> I'll take half just so um, they can try it. Which one did you think was the best? Gushers. Gushers, yeah. right? I think for me, let's turn them around this way so I can see, so I don't have to keep going like that. Gushers and then what? The gummy worms? No, for me it was gushers. Okay. Gushers and then the sandias. Okay, so it's gushers, sandias. Mm, I think gummy worms next. These were too sour for you. Mm hmm. But. I don't know. This one, the, the sour straws. They already come sour. The sour straws mm-hmm. were sour, but the, the watermelon one was super chewy, but not yeah. because of her. It's just, they're just chewy. Just in the general. candy in general. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I think I can't decide, honestly. Excuse me. For you, which one do you think was like your least? My least favorite, the sour straw. That was really um, sour, mm-hmm. <laughs> but they already do come sour. So. I wonder what she puts in them. Because they, like, they don't look, um, and these are good. Yeah. And you know what, guys? I don't know her price point, but these are, like, filled up. Mm-hmm. Like. Ya no le cabe más. No le cabe ni uno más. No, they're literally. They're all the way to the top. They're to the top. Like, I was like, oh, okay. Like, mm-hmm. I was expecting, like, little sample bags, yeah. you know? But. Nos okay. dio pa'l mes. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. I also wanted to give a shout out to my friend, um, Jackie. She's with Semillas. She gave me a, they're about to start like their business. They're mm-hmm. launching in April. The so congratulations. It's, um, she, get, she has like edible gummies, right? Well, say something. I don't get it why Semillas, if it's edible gummies. No, because she has the uh, other stuff. She has like pre-rolls. She has different things mm-hmm. like in her business or whatever. But it's like, um, like, pues, como weed, you know? Or she told me what it was. <laughs> what? You <laughs> said, I don't get it. Say something. Because <laughs> <laughs> you just looked at me like, <laughs> you were staring at me and I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, so let me show you. Cause, uh, so shout out to you, Jackie, and your partner on, you know, starting this new journey with your company. Is it legal? Yeah, it's legal. Oh, wow. So products oh they haven't posted what their product is gonna be but it's uh that's it like Mm. and i just think it's so cool you know because the way they're like doing like like their branding like i like it a lot Mm -hmm. so she gave me a gummy to i mean an edible right and i tried it like what was the taste like a i got the green apple Mm, okay which i'm not a big big green apple person so it's kind of like a candy candy it was like a little square mm-hmm. and you know i tried it and honestly like i took an edible one time and you were like never it was again. a cupcake edible oh, and that messed up my stomach mm-hmm. really bad and this was like two three years ago mm-hmm. and after that i've never tried like another one another one so what you told me and i was like all right i'll try it so then i tried it and honestly like she said just try half 
and then you know because you haven't you don't do that you don't do it just try half and then see how you like it or whatever i tried half i had a little i was done doing what i was doing but for me it's like i don't want to do if i'm gonna do drugs not that i'm doing drugs because yeah. i don't right but i'm like i don't want to do it out of like a safe place mm -hmm. so i did it here in my house i took half of it and um it was pretty chill like i just you felt a little something but nothing crazy yeah i wasn't feeling like oh my god like yeah. paranoid like i literally just felt oh i feel good like mm -hmm. you know and then i went and i knew i was high because i went and i looked at my eyes and i was just like all right i'm looking at myself in the mirror you know i'm like damn my eyes look light brown like <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn, you're beautiful. I was like, <laughs> wow, you are her. Like, yeah. no, I'm just kidding. I didn't do all that. Yeah. But I remember I did look at myself in the mirror and I'm just like trying to look at my eyes and I'm just like, beautiful eyes. Like, no. <laughs> beautiful I was eyes. like, wow, they they are light brown. Yeah. And, and I was looking at like, and they looked a little red, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm and then I'm like just minding my I'm like, business. This red is making my my, my brown pop. <laughs> yeah, literally. And I was like, uh, just minding my business and Roland's like, you look a little like if you're a little high like you know and i'm just like no yeah like i'm like but i'm chilling yeah, like thanks yeah <laughs> thank you but um but yeah so shout out to you too jackie um i don't think i ever shared that on here yeah. but it's been a while and then she gave us some pre-rolls too it was a while back yeah the mm -hmm. gummies the edibles were a while back she also gave us some pre-rolls like um, the other half or you give it to roland i gave it to roland mm -hmm. and he said he liked it too he, i think he said he didn't feel much, mm -hmm. you know, but um, then she gave us pre, pre rolls and um, he tried them. I tried one and uh, it was chill too. Like it wasn't no, like I got like yeah. high I mean, or anything, you know. But I mean, it's, it has a legal dosage, <clears throat> I guess. Yeah, but you can yeah. still get high off of it, you mm -hmm. know. But um, but yeah. So shout out to you. Shout out to Destiny. Make sure y'all go follow her at premium goods and they're premium goodies htx they're definitely worth it yeah we like the gushers the best so yeah for sure i think mm -hmm. i like these the best um honest opinion i don't know if about the sour straws because they were really sour um i don't know if it's because of the candy and then her i think because we already have had a couple yeah but también siento que her like chamoy cover it's is a that, little different yeah. than damn did you hear that the e. yeah. yeah was that me mm -hmm. um i think her the way she covers them like her recipe is a little different than than most yeah porque siento que it's not you could feel the texture of the chiles that she's using yeah or maybe not chiles but but the covering or whatever mm -hmm. you know and um normally i feel like it's very um como te digo, gooey. Gooey. gooey yeah, yeah. i don't really like that either. either i'm not big on chamoy mm -hmm. candy so so yeah and then the watermelon these were the sandias. sandias were good mm -hmm. i think this candy was a great mix with her chamoy covering mm -hmm. these the watermelon ones again um i think they were just the candy in general Sticks. so cynthia yeah. yeah and then posanondras my my favorite ones yeah so do you want to do the giveaway in this segment yeah para terminar all right so guys we put the names right here we appreciate everybody who joined mm -hmm. good luck to the winner good luck to the winner um no good luck to everybody because there's just one winner <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true it's yeah. one winner um so good luck to everyone yeah um while i'm talking i'm gonna mix it and we hope that you know you use these 100 dollars very wisely yeah make sure you guys tag us please because it is 100 mm -hmm. that are coming out of our pocket and at least you know we appreciate that you guys are comment that y'all commented that y'all that y'all are i we hope y'all are subscribed so whoever we call out we please um you know obviously you have to watch this please be grateful too. you know yeah <laughs> no don't, no don't i'm gonna to like say make send us a picture that you're subscribed okay yeah because there's no way that we can check if you're subscribed but um so make sure you send us a picture if you win yeah and then once you do that send it to the studio 1017 obviously and then i would send you the the e-gift card because you know it's modern day you can do that now we don't mm -hmm. gotta meet up no more um oh i feel so out of breath i had too much candy wow you had five candies that's a lot that's a lot of candy i don't really i guess i really don't like eating candy Mm -hmm. i mean maybe i need some water you know but you have yours right yeah i'm fine 
Anyways, we're so excited. We're excited for you guys. And it's $100. Yeah, thank you for the support. Yes. Alrighty. I'm nervous for them. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes. 97. Huh? 97. Yeah, this is the thing, guys. Right yeah. here. Okay, okay, okay. Go. <laughs> I'm nervous. You pick it. You're no. the one that's pregnant. Go. <laughs> the winner is... Dead stock Esteban. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dead uh, stock shout Esteban. out to Dead Stock Esteban. I wonder if he even watches it. Really? Because he's a guy. Then we're putting you back. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> then you didn't win. <laughs> no. So shout out to Dead Stock Esteban. Make sure you um What does he do? What should we make a clip out of it? Where's or let him watch it and then yeah, send us he's an He's definitely gotta watch so it. So we shouldn't make a clip out of it, right? Not at all. All right, you're right. I'm going to tell Orlando, do not make a clip of the winner. And then just post winner was announced on the episode. And now you got to watch it, Esteban. And now you got to... And if you don't hit us up in a day, we're choosing another I winner. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> if you... Okay, but we what we could do is... We're recording this on Thursday, guys. Like we said, the winner... Y'all are seeing this episode on Friday. Mm -hmm. If Esteban has one week, if Esteban has not reached out to us before we record the next episode. you better not go tell him because you still have a chance to win. Yeah, you, you, you better not go tell him. He better be watching. Um, We'll pull out a name Yeah. if he doesn't reach out. But I'm pretty sure he reaches out. Like, he was at our pop-up. He was one of the vendors. Okay, cool. So, he sells what? El Vende Hats. Okay. Uh -huh. So we're And they do like a weekly... Invest. They do like a weekly um, live on Instagram. Okay. So, it's pretty cool. Um... Make sure, Esteban, send us a DM, and then, obviously, I'm and pretty claim sure your you're... your price. Yeah, and if you don't claim it, somebody else is going to claim it for you one next week. week. Yeah, you have one week, bro. Seven days. <laughs> um, but with that being said, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back. Oh, why did I clap? <laughs> And we are back. Back. So, um, how how have you been? I've been good. I, ha I didn't see you last week. Oh, yeah, because we took a break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, I'm glad, though, because I was tired last yeah, week. Yeah, whenever you called me and you're like, you know what? Don't come back. And I was like, ¿Estás ya está dormida? ¿Ya se fue a la cama a dormir? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we were going to record early, right? Yeah. No, after that, I ended up leaving to go um, meet with Faith. Mm um just putting it out there let me tell you guys i'm so happy like i love my job mm -hmm. like i really do like, i think you've told me that a lot of times that, that i'm I just love so it. impressed yeah that i'm like you really like it that much that you bring it up a lot yeah because i feel uh i only share that like obviously here on the yeah. podcast i'm sharing it with y'all but i don't share that i love my job yeah i share it with roland you know um and there's just a few people because not a lot of people really even know what i'm doing yeah like my mom she didn't even know She's like, are you going to work today? And I'm like, I work every day. Uh-huh. Like, you have, like, you do what? <laughs> she's like, well, you have a job. And I'm, but she knew I had a job. She just doesn't mm -hmm. know what I do, you mm -hmm. know, because it's hard to explain. Like, I do a lot, you know. Yeah. But I still also work with the attorney. Mm -hmm. And um, I love working. Two days out of the week, right? No, every day. Every day with the attorney? Yeah. Oh, wow. But it's just in the morning from mm -hmm. 8 to 10. Um, so, like, tomorrow, like, in, like, last week, I didn't meet with him at all. Mm -hmm. But this week, I'm going to meet with him tomorrow. But um, I just feel like um, it took me, I'm, about, I'm 29, mm -hmm. and it took me a long time to find, like... Someone, something that you love doing. I mean, I have like doing my other jobs. I don't know. I don't think I have heartburn. You probably do, because... I don't... I've, I've never burping. really, like, dying... I've never been diagnosed with, like, heartburn, you know? How do you know it's heartburn? Because you burp a lot, and then it's, it's como acidic. Like, mm. acidic in your chest oh dang i'm getting old like yeah. right mm -hmm. do you get it just like as right now as my pregnancy yeah i get mm. it but um but yeah so i took i've i've enjoyed working at different jobs mm -hmm. but i've never like this job both my jobs i don't dread you look forward to working and you look forward to yeah like i enjoy working up. yeah like i like i love when faith tells me you'll oh, work from home today you mm -hmm. know and i'll do it but I don't ever mind just, like, meeting her. Like, today I was with her basically all day. Mm -hmm. You know, I miss being home, Does it, right? like, not feel like work? 
It does not feel like yeah. work. It does not feel like work, which is the crazy thing. It feels thing. like I'm hanging out. I'm making stuff happen. I'm scheduling for you. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. So it was funny because one of the, one of my coworkers, Lulu, right? Mm-hmm. She has her own business. You know, I just love surrounding myself with people that are like, like-minded like yeah. me or they're going to push you to do better and mm-hmm. push you with the crazy ideas. And, and that's who I'm surrounding myself yeah. with, right? So I was telling Lulu, I was doing some letters and she's like, this is she's like sometimes i want to record you and basically like do the video like a, there's a tiktok trend mm-hmm. i guess que dice, i can't believe that i'm getting paid to do this mm. you know she's like i always want to record you because you always do things that i can't believe it's your job yeah and i'm like <laughs> i know right like yeah. i nada que ver or whatever but i just wanted to throw it out there because i do enjoy like mm-hmm. my job or whatever so i hope that you you know whoever's watching find find that, that job, you know yeah. if you don't have it already because again i'm 29 and it took me this long to be meet meet somebody that is my boss but also understands that you the personal work yeah. personal work life balance you yeah. know what i mean and um and that was key for me mm-hmm. once i had milo like it was key to find a job that was going to allow me to still be a mom and go be able up, to pick him, go up. pick him up yeah drop him off like no sentirme mal like that you have to stay home because he's yeah, sick like if that's a problem they're not gonna guilt trip you like yeah. like you know what i, I mean, mean like, like, is it really that important stuff like yeah that. or yeah. like well you only have certain days to take off you know yeah. what i mean like that like i mean yeah you don't get paid mm-hmm. um but yeah just wanted to throw that out there but how you been i know Super i didn't see clap. you yeah i love uh, my job too <laughs> yeah you're your own boss <laughs> yeah how are you with your appointments right now i saw you post it today yeah and i saw you were have, feeling good yeah i don't post very much often anymore like i don't post on my ig i don't need to you get to a point where you don't need to you know you just work oh my ah. god <laughs> <laughs> but like how are you feeling with like your clients like are you do you feel like you're growing are you at a like at a same it's pace? always it's always like unos vienen uno se van. It's just always like this. That's why I never say I'm never. I'm not accepting new clients. Mm. I cannot close on no blessing. You know, I just received a client maybe two months ago. A new client pays me one twenty every week. One twenty. Right. Yeah. Then I have another client that I started cutting him like fifty, like um, five months ago, and he gives me ninety. Okay, so weeks. you know June the barber, right? Yeah. Um, you cannot pass on those blessings. That's what I'm saying. And and I love that my my job f- fluctuates. I, I yeah. For get sure. rid of some some new ones come and yes i agree i couldn't agree more like yeah it's, it's fun yeah and you know what i meet too? a lot of interesting people dude i'm not gonna lie i meet a lot of interesting people that i'm like dude i never thought i'd be talking to like someone who works in the nasa or someone who is an engineer for this or you know like yeah yeah it's, uh, it's cool. cool like for me that's how i feel about the podcast like yeah. i love that we me and roland have been able to build great connections yeah, just talk to people that you're like whoa like i never thought i'd be talking to someone who's in that field yeah exactly yeah. and i feel like we've been able to connect mm-hmm. different people right so june whenever he came on the his episode mm-hmm. it was like at midway i think no i forgot when but he said that he made 1200 mm-hmm. off a haircut I was like, how? how? And then in February, he posted it again. The, he made a clip out of mm-hmm. it, right? And then I'm like, and I replied and I'm like, this still blows my mind mm-hmm. that you made that much, right? In one haircut. In one haircut. And then she's, he said, LOL, it's changed now. It's way more. Wow. I was just like, but obviously because they pay for it for him to travel yeah. or his hotel, mm-hmm. all that and stuff. And he takes all that into consideration. Nothing came out of his pocket. They're Nothing like, comes out of his pocket. If you include the flight, if you include the hotel, and then if you include yeah. his food, etc., you know? Yeah. So um, I, whenever that happened, right, I also thought about like, um, like I he when he said that, I was like, it's crazy. And then now that you're a mom, I'm just like thinking like, I wonder what Alondra's going to do. I know you're going to take your maternity leave, right? Yeah. So I was like, man, it would be so cool. I know you wanted to open your studio and have like your own people there, mm-hmm. you know? Um, but I was just like, man, if you did the competitions, that'd be really cool too. But I already told you, we talked about this before. Tell me again. I don't like to lose. 
no you hosting <laughs> them oh i host the competitions yeah and then like you people are gonna pay you to enter because mm. you have a lot of people that want to learn from you yeah so it would be good that you do it as a i would love to do it for students yeah like you yeah. can teach them but also make it a competition where they can win something at the end yeah you know like they pagan digamos 50 dollars para entrar la, la competencia and they bring their own model, or you can provide the model or something, and then agarran un premio. El ganador yeah. gana, un, gana algo. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I thought about that for you or whatever. That would be fun. I just don't think um, I'm I that think, social, to be honest. Well, you, that's the thing, though. I'm not that social. I also think that you would be a great person, because it's your field. You're yeah. comfortable. You have the knowledge for it, you know? Mm -hmm. And these are people that are going to be like, Alondra, like, teach me. You know, these are people that are coming to you or whatever. Yeah. But I don't know. I, whenever I saw him do that, Roland went, met with him not that long ago. And they were talking about, like, all this stuff. And Roland told me, and I'm like, oh, my God, that would be so cool if Alondra did that. Mm -hmm. And she would only be hosting competitions or whatever. Or maybe you should go and be a judge, like, for him and one of them and see how you like it, you know. Because he said that he did the, like, a fast, the fa he, I mean, in different categories. Yeah. I think with the best haircut. Okay. The, best design yeah, the fastest, fastest cut haircut, yeah. yeah how fast are you um have I can you do timed haircut, yourself yeah i can do a haircut in 20 minutes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i've seen i've seen in those competitions that, that people can do it in 15 minutes oh really yeah. and a good good haircut 15 minutes mm. and not me i'll chop you up, chop you up really <laughs> bad <laughs> i don't know like i don't think i i i've never liked touching people's hair so it's not because you're like ew yeah i don't know it's no me llama la atención i love touching milo's hair though him or roland you know but yeah strangers no like what if they don't wash their hair or have you seen videos where where there's a girl asking the client um can i touch you can i touch you yeah like they sit in her chair and she asks first are you okay if i touch you is it okay if I touch you? And the the client is like, oh, thank you for asking. Yes, it's okay for you to touch me. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm not. <laughs> and a lot of people like roast her on the comments. Like they've made a lot of memes out of her. That's weird. But she's like those type of like, what do you, what do you go weird by? If... Like, what's your pronoun? What would you like me to call you by? Oh, like yeah. she has like, she's big on boundaries maybe. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm that's what it is yeah no like uh but that's is that too much for you yeah that's weird like whenever someone comes it's not weird yeah, it is <laughs> it is like do what i have to touch you if not get out of my chair how what are you doing here then oh my god so did you see i saw on tick you don't have tiktok right but i saw the t tiktok the other girl went to go do her eyebrows uh -huh. she went from louisiana to texas and just to do her eyebrows to microblade him, I think. Uh -huh. And, um, like, y la, y like, se estaba quitando, like, and the way she was catching attitude with the girl, and the girl's like, you came to me, but the girl had great customer service. I'm like, I could never. Can never be that chill? No. I'd be like, bitch, get off my chair. Like, what, what are you she doing? doing? Quitando what? No, she was trying to make her eyebrows, like, les estaba, yo creo In a que different way. Les hacen como con un hilo. When they, yeah. you might, have you seen when they microblade, like, they map him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the girl was trying to map her. <gasps> uh -huh. Sitting down. And and then the girl went like that, like, Le I need to see. And the girl's like, okay, you know? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Like, I, I need like to this. see how you map that out before you even start. Yeah. And uh, I don't have it. I wish I did because I would have shown you. I've had clients like that. Really? And I and I I'm like oh no mm -mm. like I've cut your hair way too many times for you to have trust issues with me. Yeah. So then the girl was like, "This I don't play with my clients or I don't do like skits because it can get like a scene, you know? Yeah. It could get a little bit ugly. Like they could get a little bit rude for real, for real. Yeah. But then it's just like, damn, you went from Louisiana to go to her. Like you picked her. Yeah. But now you're doubting her. You know, like. Like, it's crazy because the, the, I knew if it was, like, white dot, she would have been, like, no. Hell. You know, because it's just, like, how are you stopping her, like, when she's mapping you midway? And then yeah. she's, like, this doesn't look right. This line doesn't match to this line. And she's, like, I haven't even added a line on this side. 
Wow. Like, I see, you know? Yeah. But the way the girl was coming at her, I Rudely. La sentí como bien defensive, like, yeah. you know? And I'm just like, I could never. I don't think I could be. I have great customer service, but I now, my, the, the me now, I have zero, like, patience for people, yeah. like, that are going to waste my time. ¿Me entiendes como? They're not just, or they <clears throat> just don't appreciate your work. Or um, back to, like, how when i had that one friend yeah and you told me like what is she adding to your life yeah i was just like damn you're right like <laughs> <laughs> that also makes me a loser <laughs> <laughs> no not even but like yeah i was like what does she bring to you like like yeah like she's just bringing you down and i'm just like no she's not like trying to excuse the other person but like yeah. why so now i really do feel like I don't got time for that. I don't got time for... I don't got time for your drama. I'll hear you out, yes. But I don't have, like... Yeah. No tengo el tiempo. You don't I have, have the, too much going on yeah. to even worry about it. You You're know? not going to be like, okay, let me do something for you. Yeah, let me fix your problem. Yeah, yeah no, not anymore. But, um, which I still catch myself sometimes trying to help people, like... Try, I, I'm, like, not... Like, two weeks ago, I met somebody. They're going through something super hard, you know? And I was like, I told Faith, it's taking a lot for me, really. Like, I'm holding back so much. Not from not just, doing something. From not doing something to help this other person out. Well, maybe that's Yosito, too. What do you mean? Yeah, that's like, you're naturally that way. Yeah, I know. You know, you're naturally <laughs> that way. And whenever you feel that almost like passion to want to help another person, don't... don't Hold back? Yeah. Yeah, no, but I just feel like... I didn't even know the person. Mm. You know what I mean? You just felt very bad for them or something? Yeah, like, they told me what the situation was, and I was just, like, already thinking, like, man, how can I help this girl get a car? Mm. Like, <laughs> shit like that, you know? And I'm just, like, like, ooh, who, who am I to this girl? I'm nothing. Yeah. Nobody, you know? And I'm over here trying to figure out how to help her get a car. Mm. You know, like, yeah. like it's that. It's like, no tiene nada que ver contigo, really. Yeah, no, it doesn't have anything to do with me. Yeah. And most of the time, it does have has zero to do with me. But I still try to, like, think. I do think mentally, and sometimes if I think it's something that... Quick, yeah. easy, like, oh, I know the person, I'm gonna hit him up, and then, Yeah, boom. something like that. But if I really gotta go out of my way, like, yeah. there's just special people out there that I... That you would go out of your way for. Yeah, now. Mm -hmm. Back then, I'd go out of my way for anybody and everybody, you know, and that ain't that ain't it no more yeah it is true because mm -hmm. like como se dice like um there was this analogy of like you're you're empty so if you're an empty cup you can't pour out to others you have to be able to overflow to be able to pour out for others you know what i mean oh yeah, yeah. that's a good um yeah. way to look at it mm -hmm. you have to be able to be like no i'm good 100 percent, i'm <clears> good <throat> and sometimes maybe you're not right but yeah but in order for you to get everyone, you got to get yourself first. No, yeah, for sure. I I agree with that. That's a good way to, yeah, like, look at it. So you're saying you were, you, I know I didn't see you last week. Mm -hmm. um, so what did you do over the weekend? Wait, I have a question. Mm -hmm. And I am so sorry oh. if I didn't do this. Did I wish you happy birthday? No, you didn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, my God. I swear that's been on the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. Evelyn totally forgot about my birthday, which was three months ago. In January. Yeah. Today, Jan literally three months ago. Yeah. Today, literally. I was literally. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I'm so confused. Did I no, not don't see act you? Confused. Did I not see you in person? <laughs> you don't see me for the whole month of January. I didn't see you for the whole month of January? No, I'm asking you. I did see you yeah, in January. Yeah, of course you did. So I'm thinking, how the hell did I forget to wish you happy birthday? I'm not that important, that's why. No, wait. Clearly. I'm, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I literally told Roland like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I'm like, did we wish Alondra happy birthday? And he's like, yeah, we did. Why wouldn't she? She's like our co-host. No. And I'm like, Roland, you a damn liar. I was like. Y'all did not wish I, me no happy I, birthday. And I kid you not. I was I went through my Instagram messages yeah. with you on studio on my personal and no I'm like, happy birthday okay, no no where. happy birthday it's no because too, I don't I don't I don't post no know? I know but still but I was like I must have seen her mm -hmm. I'm like but then I didn't see her on her actual birthday because yeah, yeah, I knew it was the twenty first right mm -hmm. and I'm just like 
because we talked about our birthdays yeah. the 22nd the 21st and your january right and i'm just like how the hell how the hell like so then i'm like maybe i saw her maybe we recorded and then i'm looking at my text messages and i'm like i didn't send anything in the text messages mm -hmm. i didn't send anything on instagram I'm like, and Roland's like, well, maybe we did see her and you told her happy birthday because yeah. there's no way you forgot. And I'm just like, <laughs> no. Oh my God, I am so sorry. No, you want to know how you only remembered? How? Because in the last episode, <laughs> don't, don't lie to me. That's yeah. the only reason yeah. why you remembered. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been in the back of your mind. Oh my God. Of that. Yeah, it's been in the back of my yeah. mind because of that. Because two weeks ago, I was like, well, my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> damn and you were just like i thought i like oh i was like fuck did i tell her happy birthday oh my god so embarrassing mm -hmm. damn what a what great day. friend <laughs> i'm so sorry you know what you know what it is i'm not even kidding your birthday was a sunday mm -hmm. that's why yeah it was on sunday you don't post shit on sunday you don't post anything anymore yeah and I don't have I didn't you. have to, you know, and for I don't you to remember. I and I don't have you. Have I don't have you on my paper calendar. Mm. I need to add you. Yeah, out of everyone, not me. No, don't feel bad. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have I didn't have my brother on there for two years, and wow. I kept forgetting for those two years until I told him I'm adding you to my calendar. Mm -hmm. That's the only way I, you remember. Yeah, because yeah. I write it three times. I write it on my no, planner. Yeah. I had yours on my on my work calendar. So I don't have mine. I didn't use my work cal my calendar for birthdays. Mm -hmm. I have to visually see it. Yeah. And I write my, not even kidding you, like December, escribo todos los birthdays from the last calendar. Yeah. And that's how I know, right? So I need to add you to my calendar. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I feel so bad. I do feel bad. I'm glad. <laughs> What kind of a co-host am I <laughs> yeah. that I forgot your birthday? But I wasn't counting until like later on, you know? What do you when mean? I kept looking at your present there and I was like, I'm not giving it to her. What present? <laughs> you know, because I got you a present for your birthday, but I gave it to you in Valentine's Day. Oh, yes! yeah. <laughs> Which, by the present. way, that's mm -hmm. one of my favorite jackets now. Really? Yeah, Yay. I've worn it like a bunch already. Like, it's yeah, one of my favorite. I knew it was like, super cute. Yeah, like it was really expensive. Cute. So mm -hmm. take care of it. Oh, I am. <laughs> Roland, Roland, Roland really likes it too. Mm -hmm. That's he says that he is one of his favorite of that mine. looks good on you. Yeah, and I was like, it's a little pinkish and peach, you know. Yeah, like, no, I really like it. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. I feel so bad. I forgive you. I and forgave you when I gave you the gift. I'm like, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I forgive you. Didn't, why didn't you call me out on it? <laughs> out of all the things that you call people out on, and what are you, would you call me? Why didn't you call me out on that? No, it was something that like even if my mom didn't wish me happy birthday, I'm not gonna call her out on it. Did anybody? else forget or just me um, from people that should have told you happy birthday that are important i should have been me? telling you happy birthday yeah and you know what though the reason why i did think i said happy birthday is because when me and roland wish people happy birthday mm -hmm. we say it say it in our group message mm. and i'm like our group message with roland is the entre nos one yeah and i'm like and there's nothing there mm -hmm. so i was really i'm like no, like, there's no way. And he's like, no, we saw her. Either you told her early happy birthday. Oh, I'm going to tell him something right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because he's like, we did. I'm You're like, so convinced. You're always so convinced. Yeah, <laughs> you convinced me, too. Yeah. Like, You're that like, okay, didn't. good. I feel better. <laughs> but I just had a feeling, because it was the last episode that yeah. you said, oh, my birthday. Yeah. So what did you do on your birthday? Um, Because we must have recorded the week after your birthday. And I asked you, what did you do that weekend? And you didn't say, oh. I didn't have to. You didn't say, you didn't say oh, I celebrated my birthday. Um, so let's what rewind. Did. What did you do for your birthday? How was your birthday? Uh, good. But I don't remember what I did really. Oh, I think we went. No, we didn't go to Top Golf. We went bowling. We went bowling for my birthday. We went out for dinner with my parents. And then we went to my parents' house and they sang happy birthday to me. Yeah. Mm. something chill that's good kiki got me a phone um my my older sister got me the the massage thing that's why yeah. you said oh she gave me that for my birthday yeah but you were pregnant already damn that was yeah, my little sister got me like a vanity oh really mm -hmm. damn that's cool yeah my birthday was great three <laughs> months ago <laughs> 
Oh my God, did you tell Kika I forgot your birthday? Did you tell you her birthday? No. Mm-mm. So he doesn't know? I suffer in silence, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go through things in silence. <laughs> Damn. Is that why you showed up that week and you were whispering at me? And I was like, hi, Evelyn. You good? Mm, I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little bit older, but I'm feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Well, Kiki, I'm birthday sorry. Nails. I was like, birthday nails? Mm-hmm. I didn't notice them. <laughs> wait those are your birthday notes? no obviously not oh okay it's like if i was i came in here you know yeah. sarcastically these are not my birthday nails i've there was like my mom is so funny porque i kind of get them the same all the time yeah and she's like esas son las de tu boda i'm like no what the heck <laughs> she was like that's like way last year yes she's like todavía tienes las uñas de tu boda i'm like no she's like they look the same that's funny yeah. Well, I'm sorry. It's okay, Evelyn. Yeah, you already said sorry a lot of times. Yeah, because I feel me bad. Now. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm, I'm making your space. Yeah, you're making me uncomfortable. No, yeah, but I did. I I hate forgetting birthdays mm-hmm. like this because I don't care for people to wish me happy birthday. Yeah. you know, but like I'm big on yeah. wishing. Some I think one year I did send my whole family a message, and I'm like, can y'all send me y'all's birthdays? And yeah. that's when I started writing everything down mm-hmm. on the pl- on my calendar. And it's so Ronan can see, too, because yeah. sometimes I write his cousin's birthday and I'm just like, you should remember your cousins. Yeah. But then I don't remember mine, but I have him written down, you know. So, no, I, honestly, I didn't mind that you forgot it. But it makes me a bad friend. I wish I should have wished you a happy birthday. Yeah, but I didn't mind. I was like, that doesn't um, disqualify her, you know. <laughs> out of the top of your hand i mean at the top of your head how many friends do you can you say like oh these are my good friends i probably have so i have a friend that got jealous from of you what the pregnancy. oh my god tell yeah. us tell us she tell us the achievement yeah. <laughs> she literally messaged me like kind of bothered yeah and i was like what's the problem because i didn't tell her that i was pregnant before i told you and then she's like oh you gave her a whole little card say like that you're pregnant and i didn't tell her and i was like dude chill she's the one that i am always with when i go to missions and oh from church she's your church church friend yeah does she watch the podcast um no not really so how did she know porque miro el clip that i reposted the clip on my story oh my god and that's what she's like she just sent me like a little message saying oh like oh oh (laughs) You're pregnant, and you and, gave her. Yeah. Oh. And she gave, gave me snacks <laughs> and, and a jacket. But the thing is, she lives super far. She lives an hour away. Oh. Mm-hmm. But so if she lived closer, you were gonna give her a basket too. Yeah. But you didn't. So. But I didn't. But it was like we're always together when we go to retreats. I'm always with her. Yeah. So so I consider her my friend. Okay. So that's her and me. Yeah, and probably another one. Her name is Diana. You said another one, like yeah. if she's another one. I'm not sure. That I'm not sure is because funny. we don't share too much. Not like me and Vanessa do. Oh, her name's yeah. Vanessa. I'm about to go find her on Instagram. Yeah. Be like, what's up? You wanna <laughs> squabble? We can fix our pro- our issues. <laughs> I know you're not giving my pregnant friend issues right now. Yeah. You know, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not territory yeah. at all. I'm not the jealous friend at and all. And I don't think she is either. I think or maybe she is or she was Apparently just she is if she's saying yeah. that, you know. But she, but her and Diana are best friends, you know. So you're the third one. Yeah, I'm. Th- I'm the one that's just here, like, oh hi, girls. You know, yeah. like I'll listen, I'll hear them out. But they're the ones who talk the most. Mm. You know, I'm, I'll just, I'll come in when I can. When yeah. I, when I got time. When you got time. Yeah. So I'm like, no, that's your best friend. Don't try to like, act like you and I are best friends. You know. <laughs> I don't know. When, yeah. When you got a best friend, mm. go be territorial around with her. Your best friend. Yeah yeah That's i'm telling you i never crazy. had i've never had a best friend and i'm mm-hmm. totally okay with that i rather no not. yeah like that friendship well your best friend should be kike now yeah you know um or over time he becomes your best friend yeah i used when me and roland started first started oh, actually before i go into a cheese about me and roland um let's go on a quick break and i also want to tell you i have an update on milo's love story <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back yeah And we are back, so I have an update. Uh, well, with Roland being my best friend, mm. I, I used to, when we were boyfriend and girlfriend, I used to be like, you're never going to be my best friend. 
my gear. Really? Yeah, because I, I didn't care for it. And especially yeah. because his, his ex was still, like, considered his friend. Hmm. And she would say that they were best friends. So I'm like, I'm never going to be your best friend. Like, never. And over time, he would be like, oh, you're my best friend. I'm like, don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't call me your best friend because you're not my best friend. Yeah. And now, years later, 14 years later, I consider him, like, your best my best friend. friend. Yeah. But we never say that. I'm never like, you're my best friend, like, yeah. ever. Milo calls me and him his best, best friends. friends. Mm. Yeah. But I never say Roland's my be- I never give him that title. Yeah. You know, because. That's your husband. It's my husband. Yeah. Yeah. But update on Milo's love story. So, basically, when did he got the ago. letter? Yeah, right. And that was before spring break, mm-hmm. right? He got a love letter and it said, "I love you, Milo." Whatever. Roland made a clip out of it. I told him not to because I called the little girl a slut. I was joking, yeah. obviously. And I know the mom, and I know Milo's old teacher watches the podcast. So I was like. <laughs> She knows who I'm talking about because I literally yeah. texted her and said, can you believe this person? Yeah. Sent me, gave Milo this letter. Mm-hmm. So Milo did a fort. He built a fort in his room, right? And um, we took it down. It was on. It was up there for like three days or whatever. Mm-hmm. I was like, you got to clean your room. We took it down. And as I'm taking down his the stuff we're cleaning his room, I find a paper. Mm-hmm. And it says, I love you. And it has letters. And I'm like, Milo, what is this? Oh, nothing. Nothing. He did it. He did it. <gasps> and I'm just like, what does it say right here? And then he's like, nothing. That goes to the trash. Can I throw <gasps> it in the trash, please? And I'm like, no. Tell me. What does it say here? And he was trying to... T- the letters, I kind of had an idea whose it was, the name. Yeah. But it didn't even say the name, you know? He doesn't know how to write the little girl's name, right? He was just trying to imagine, like, how would he I write He was going this? based off sound. Oh, okay, okay. So sounds, because he's learning yeah. how to read, mm-hmm. right? And I'm like, what does it say? You know, I wasn't mad. I was just like, well, what does it say? Bro, tell me. Yeah, I'm, no your best, no lo estaba regañando. I'm your best friend. <laughs> 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 tell me. <laughs> and, and then he ended up telling me the little girl. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just like, when did you write this? And then he told me that he wrote it when he was under his fort. And I'm just like... Oh, oh sneaky little things. Okay. I'm like, why did you write this? And then he said, oh, well, she told me to give her one back. The little girl told Milo that since she gave him a letter. You got to give me one back. You have to give me one back. got to be on signature. And then he said, Sign your name. <laughs> and then he said, but I never went back to school because he started spring break. Yeah. So he didn't go back to school, so mm-hmm. he never gave the little girl the letter. Pero se acordó. He's like, oh, I'm supposed to yeah. write a letter. Write a letter. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, so then I come and I'm like, let me tell you this. I'm like, if you give this little girl the letter, her mom's going to get mad. Yeah. And you're going to get in trouble. And he's like, why me? And I'm like, because, like, mm-hmm. you shouldn't be giving little girls letters. Like, no, like, don't focus on that. You need to focus. And then I'm just like, damn, am what I am really I about to? <laughs> I'm like, am I really about to sit down and tell him that he needs to focus girls. on school? No girls right no now. No girls. He can have friends. But he doesn't understand what a girlfriend means. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know, you know? So then I'm just, like, telling him, like, you need to learn how to read. You need to focus on that. Like, like this? You didn't even write it right. I'm like, yeah, I did say that. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, uh, he's like, can we please throw it in the trash? And then I'm like, I'll throw it in the trash. He's like, no, I want to throw it in the trash. He wanted to make sure that I threw it in the trash. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to tell Roland. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, we'll Why? throw it in the Roland trash together. Roland make a big deal about it. You no, porque like? yo creo que le da pena. Yeah. yeah, he's super shy. And then I was low-key like, what the hell? Like, why didn't he write this letter? Like, and he wrote it in his four. Like, estaba tapado. Yeah. Like, like being that's, sneaky a little that's bit. Sneaky. Like, I'm, I kind of shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, like, he knows that he shouldn't be doing yeah. that. That's why he was doing it as well. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, that's, it's funny. I'm not the jealous mom that's like, oh, my God, like, why would you do that? Yeah, yeah, I'm really not. Like, again, not even with Roland, like, I'm not territorial. I'm not jealous. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just funny to me, you know? Maybe if I see somebody hurt him, then I'd be like, what the fuck, you know? Yeah. But other than that, like, not good. So I just thought it was really funny. And then... um I told Roland and then I showed him the letter because I took it out of the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Milo left it like we put it in. I'm like, he wanted to push it down. He wanted, he wanted to, to like, quería romper. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just like, no. 
But I wanted to keep that. it just to show yeah. Roland, you know, because me and Roland got into it. So I didn't, I didn't tell him right, right away. away. Yeah. And then I told him, I was just like, can you believe that? Like, that's crazy. Like, Milo is like five and a half. He's about to be six in July. Yeah. And he's already writing like, I love, love. you, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know. What did he say? Who? Roland. That he just thought it was funny. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, my God. Like. The fact, como que es, he's being sneaky, you know? Mm-hmm. He's already starting that little stage of, like, I shouldn't. But it doesn't matter. Like, or, she like, told he to knows it. it's wrong, yeah. you know? But he did say she's, like... And I believe him, because yeah. why would he be, like, oh, she told me to do it? Like, yeah. um, it, with Milo, guys, we talk about, like, lies, you know? And no it's lies. Just, I was, like, no lies, no secrets, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's not, like, no con miedo, sino que, like, you should... I'm your If I'm your friend, mm-hmm. tell me, you know, like... And um, so the whole that he's hungry, he's in that stage where he's like just bored and he wants to eat every he wants to five do minutes. Something. Yeah, yeah, literally. And then, oh, he'll pull the. Nobody wants to play with me, Aww. and I'm just like the one that get, gets no attention. I know, and I'm just like <laughs> we just played with you like ten minutes ago, yeah. you know. So yeah, that that's the update on his love life. Like it's crazy. Of his little life, dude. <laughs> his little his life. little life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, my God. I couldn't even imagine how it would be if I had a daughter, mm. you know. And then mm-hmm. I thought about you. Um, now you guys know Lucia's pregnant. So I thought about Lucia because she's having Sound a girl. girl. And I'm just like, how? Like, I'm excited to be surrounded by the babies, you know, because yeah. I expect and I plan to be around these babies, you yeah. know. <laughs> so I'm just like, wow. And then, like, my my goddaughter, Penelope, like, she's so sassy. Like, Really? Oh, with her little purses and stuff. Yeah, and did you see her little rodeo yeah. outfit? I loved it. I, I bought it for her. Toda coqueta. Yeah, I know you toda, showed like, it to me. You know? Yeah. And um, I don't know. Like, I just think girls are sassy. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't imagine, like, how it would be, like, for me to have a daughter. You know? Yeah. Porque Milo está así como, like, consentido. Milo's super sweet. Shy. You know? And yeah. shy. And I feel like a little girl that's going to come like, and, like, whatever. Like, yeah. who are you? You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Or be territorial over Roland. Oh, for sure. Like, no, that's my daddy. Like, don't touch him. Yeah, because Milo's like that. Yeah. With so, you. With me. Yeah. yeah. So I'd be like, girl, you won't fight? Because we'll post up right now. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but um, another thing, last night, mm-hmm. um, I know I'm talking, you know, a lot, but do you have a story you want to share? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, last night, this is kind of scary. That's why. So... We went to Axarad. Mm-hmm. Guys, Mercado Milo is back. So make sure y'all check out Casa Vogue's. Today, actually, drop Roland is dropping the Salina tea on Casa Vogue's website. Um, Vogue Studio. Go check it out. It's a super dope t-shirt. Um, it's, you know, designed by Roland. Mm-hmm. And on there will be selling Mercado Milo. Okay. So Mercado Milo is coming back up, right? Mm-hmm. So I was at Axarad yesterday. My sister said, you know, cuidar a Milo aquí a la casa. And we didn't get home till like 9.45. And Milo was already asleep by 9. Mm-hmm. So Milo never realized we made it home, basically, right? We Nosotros lo hicimos a persinar y todo. Yeah. But he never he really, like, yeah, he was mm-hmm. asleep. So then, like, at 2 something in the morning, tell me why I'm getting a phone, like, a FaceTime call. And it says baby boy, because that's what I have Milo under, right? Uh-huh. I have him under baby boy. From and his I'm, tablet? He's from calling his you? iPad. <gasps> he's calling me. And I'm like... And you're thinking he's not home. He's somewhere else. No, girl. Hold on. I'm like, oh, what the? F-? I'm like half asleep. And I wake up and it says baby boy. And I'm like, what? I reject it. And they call again. <gasps> and I'm just like, so I didn't even answer. And I'm like, babe. And he's like, what? And I'm like, where is Milo's iPad? And then he's like, in my office. And then I'm like, somebody's calling me from Milo's iPad. I'm like, somebody's in the house. <gasps> like, that's what I'm thinking, you know? Really? And then I, Milo has a camera in his room, right? Mm-hmm. And then there's motion in Milo's room. And I'm like, oh, my God, they're in Milo's room. Like, ahorita me están... Los, You're freaking out, Like, dude. ahorita me yeah. están los calofrío just to even imagine, like, anybody what in you, his what room. What you were thinking about well, In that night. moment, yeah. I was just like, you know? I'm like, oh, my God, there's somebody in Milo's room. And I open up the were camera. Were you trying to be quiet, like, whisper? or No, we were just talking in the room, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I open up the camera, and it's it's Milo. He was not in his bed. So I'm like, oh, shit, this whole time it's been Milo. But I'm yeah. thinking Milo's asleep. Yeah. Somebody's, Somebody's in the house, you know? Yeah. How did that make sense? I don't know, but I was that half asleep, so you know? Scary. And then Milo basically goes to our room. As soon as Ron is going to walk out, 
se lo, se lo topa, and then he's like, he walks in and he's like, Papi, I'm scared. And then he's like, uh, Roland le dice, what happened, you know? And basically, Milo thought that my sister, he said, what he was saying wasn't making sense, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, um, I was like, I looked at the couch and I didn't see the head, which was, now we yeah. know that it was my sister. Yeah, you know? <laughs> we were thinking, what head? <laughs> <laughs> literally i was like what, what head? are you, you know? talking about and then he's like no basically he said that he thought that somebody was still at home with that he, him no he thought that my sister left him and oh. that he was home alone so he thought to himself i'm gonna call my mommy and then so he went to roland's girl out <laughs> <laughs> he went to because he was scared because yeah. he didn't go to our room because he didn't know we were home yeah and he thought my sister was gone so he thought he was here home alone mm. so he was so scared dude mm. i felt so bad i was like oh my god like to to the point that no pudo dormir Te, estaba asustado. Really? yeah he was so scared like oh. he was just like con miedo you know yeah. like se le metió se estaba bien asustado and I, and it's so sad because right before that had happened on TikTok, I had seen a video yeah. of like somebody abandoning their baby, right? So then that happened, right? And then it ended up, it was just weird how everything worked out because Milo leaves his iPad in Roland's office mm -hmm. when it doesn't have battery and Roland charges it for him. Mm -hmm. When it's ready, Roland gives it to Milo. So my, th I'm thinking like it's crazy. Milo was half asleep, and he did all this. He woke up thinking he was home alone, and his thought was, "I need to call my mom." He's smart, and he went into Roland's office. He knew the iPad was gonna be in there. Mm -hmm. You know, what what would have been, what would have happened if he would have been like, if Roland never plugged up the iPad, it would have yeah. been dead. You know, but no, he plugged it up, and he he, and I'm just like, I'm so glad that he's learning how to read because on his iPad, he has like only like certain people yeah. as contacts, right? But mine says mommy, like, mm. you know. So he's like, mama. No, so I'm sure he knows it was <laughs> yeah. me, obviously. But the fact, I'm just like, pobrecito, because I rejected his call. <laughs> he's like, what? Mom, and then he busy? called me, he called me again. <laughs> I was like, I was freaking out. I was like, yeah. who the fuck is calling me from Milo's iPad, mm -hmm. you know? but i don't know like imagine like is this this is this is the crazy. stuff that that i have that i'm dealing with like mm -hmm. you know but yeah he said he was really scared because he thought we left him here that he was home alone and i'm just like i i just I, I hate to always think that he really has these this fear yeah that he shouldn't be feeling you know but Again, it's crazy. So that what would you do different next time? Like, would you be like, Papi, we're home. Like, kind of wake well, him up. Well, we did roll and woke him up. Oh, and but he no se acordó. And even, matter of fact, like at midnight, he woke up and went to the restroom. Mm. And now that I'm, now it all makes sense. Because normally he would go and tell us he has to go to the restroom, right? But he woke up and he went to the restroom. So I'm thinking he probably thought my sister was still here. Yeah. So he didn't go and tell us. But I came to check up on him and I'm like, oh. And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Lo limpié, lo acosté, me acosté con él, and I went back to my room. He's like, I'm dreaming. <laughs> so he probably yeah. thought he was dreaming, yeah. you know? But um, I don't know what I could do different, honestly. Like, because he sleeps in his room. Yeah. So it's like, it's hard to say, like, you know. Like, you know? I don't know. It's, yeah. it's kind of weird because if he's here asleep, like, we'll try to, like. But I feel like también le hace un bien for him to go through these little scenarios that are just a test. They're not even real. It's just a little test, a little yeah. taste of, and like, it, yeah. possibilities that could happen, you know? And now you know, like, he knows how to call mommy. Yeah. He knows yeah, to go to I his tablet. Like, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> so was like, he was FaceTiming me because that's all he knows how to do yeah. on his iPad to FaceTime. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know how to call. He just knows how to FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> and lo bueno es que he didn't freak out. He wasn't, like, sobbing and crying and yeah no because he didn't start crying until, until he saw, he saw us He's yeah like what a relief that you guys yeah like I, I can only like but as a parent like i hate the fact that he was probably sitting in roland's office solito thinking solito yeah. and thinking the fucking worst. scared like yeah. like damn what am i gonna do <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, do i have though. enough food <laughs> yeah literally yeah. and and it's not even funny because the next story that i'm about to say is really sad so i don't know if you heard like a year ago una mom dejó a su hija de meses por 10 días y se fue a vacation yeah, in puerto rico i just seen it i oh. just followed her case 
Okay. Yeah. And they just basically, yeah. She died, right? From being The baby fed. died. Yeah. From, and it's so sad because in the court, basically, the, yeah, they gave the lady her sentence already. She has life in prison, yeah. no parole. And um, it's so sad because with the person, the autopsy or whatever, que hicieron a la baby, she died the starvation, dehydration, yeah. and abandonment. Like, she, the... The lady that was explaining it, she's like, she went through so much pain as a baby. Yeah. The feeling of abandonment is like one of the worst feelings you can feel, yeah. you know? And like, it's crazy that your body detects it and your body shows it. Oh, this, this is the sign of abandonment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and like, and, and it's a stress on your body. Yeah. You stress out your body. Yeah. So, and I, and I literally just saw that last night and I wake up to my son thinking we left him. Yeah. Like, you know? I was like, you know, like, que vieja mm -mm. tan desgraciada, no pude dejarle una caja de cereal ahí a la niña or something. Le dejó dos tetas. Que desgraciada, like, she couldn't, like. Dude, like, and, like, I don't get it. Yeah. Like, you know, like, how? How is there, like. And she was like, es que no saben cuánto ha sufrido. Like, oh, because of the postpartum or something yeah. like that. She said que she was depressed, but you weren't but that you, depressed yeah. if you were in fucking Puerto Rico partying. And like. Chicago, she left to Chicago oh, too, Oh, and right? then she left, she went to Puerto Rico with one man, and then she went somewhere else to well, meet another yeah. man. Like, oh, you, you were, were so depressed, yeah. you know? Not, and as, and y'all can take it as me judging her because I am judging her. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it's hard to ever find forgiveness yeah. not that it's you on cannot me justify to justify it i can't it's not just i can't justify somebody la, la that harms a kid that loved her. you know like you could have told no. your mom la mamá y el papá la están defendiendo a la hija yeah but like it look it and whatever okay son sus parents but you have somebody to reach to yeah but she her parents had. are defending they're asking the judge if they can give her a lighter sentence pues es su hija también, you know like yeah no but I don't see like there's no justification. There's no justification. Yeah. No. I I would be like if Milo god forbid he ever did something to harm his kids, I'd be like who the fuck raised you because I know I didn't. Like yeah. not to be like that, you know? But you would also be like I didn't raise you that way so you're not well. Yeah. And then you would want to justify him. He's not well. That's what it is because he's not well because he wasn't raised that way. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm did you ever watch nickelodeon growing up mm -hmm. so there's a whole documentary on it right now why you should watch it so basically do you did you ever see um oh, what's his name drake and josh mm -hmm. okay so the twins they weren't twins <laughs> they're not no <laughs> oh that's um the brothers the, the sweet life brothers. of second coat yeah that's the sweet yeah. life of second coat yeah <laughs> I was like, no, oh it's sense. el gordito y el flaquito okay yeah. okay so el flaquito was molested mm. yeah for a long time by who by his i think he was like um part of like the production mm. or whatever the nickelodeon and not the gordito one not the gordito no i uh uh drake it was so sad. You and Giga need to watch that story, guys. If you have not watched it, you need to watch he it. Comes, Trigger warning for sure. He comes out like he says his story. He's never shared his story. So, like until now. He oh, just okay. he this is the first time he comes out and shares it. Sorry. Um and it's it's really sad. Your wrist hurts? Me lo estoy comiendo mi, mi Apple Watch. Oh, okay. Um it's really sad because you see this documentary and you really feel sad for these kids. Yeah. Because you're like like I, a uh, Drake, that's his name, right? Drake. Um, basically, he was um, a part of like, you know, that was his dream to be an actor, an actor, and to be in TV or whatever. And then he gets this role, and this guy, hace que Drake se separe de su papá. Mm. Le empieza a meter mucho a la cabeza. And then the papá tells the mom, like, hey, fine, be the manager. Mm -hmm. Just don't let him be with this guy. El papá siempre tuvo un presentimiento. Yeah. Yeah. Siempre tuvo. Like, he was like, I don't want him nunca. alone with yeah. him. Yeah. Dice, él decía, it's weird. And I told him, I'm like that. You have a presentimiento of like when someone, you're like, like I don't want I this person around me. Like, no. I see people and I'm just like, you can tell que tienen malicia. Like, you know what I mean? And I hate como it. Como que toquetea mucho al niño. Yeah. Like, oh, no, yeah. Like, gives him way too much attention in a form that you're yeah, like, like, not comfortable with. Yeah, like, I feel like, with. I'm just like, mm, that don't fly with me, you yeah. know? 
Uh, and thank God, like, okay, I dicen, feel... Okay, lo, dame un beso. Or yeah, like, like uh -huh. for me, like, I'm lucky that, you know, I can, I feel like, I feel Milo is safe around my family, you know? Yeah. But even at that, like, I'm never gonna, like, not take... I'm, I'm always gonna have my eyes on him, yeah. you know? And the dad was like that, right? Con Drake. And long story short, basically, he ends up getting molested for years by this guy, right? And then... When they arrest him and they do everything, he basically wants to keep his name safe out of, like, the whole case or whatever. No quiere que sepan que he's the kid that he was molested. Oh. Only a few people knew, right? Yeah. That's why it's the first time he comes out after years. Mm -hmm. You know, and since he was a minor, but I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they were able to keep everything. Like, porque when they share stuff, a veces no dicen the kid's name because yeah. they're minors for their, mm -hmm. for their privacy, you know? So then... It's sad because on the in the documentary, I'm already telling you, like, there's a lot more that happens with the Nickelodeon kids that they talk about on the show. Um, it's on HBO Max, by the way. And basically, it's sad because su papá hizo tanto para él, you know? Yeah. Y ese señor lo alejó a él de su papá, right? And then the mom becomes involved. And then the mom basically le tiene confianza al señor, solo deja, right? Well, the mom and the dad weren't together? The mom and the dad were separated, oh. yeah. And it's so sad because you could tell that the dad comes out in the documentary. And then Drake Kind of saying, like, I knew it. Yeah, no, he didn't even know. So Drake calls the dad and is like, did you hear? And he's like, what? And he's like, they arrested, I forgot his name. And then he's like, he's like, they did? He's like, yeah. And he's like good i knew he was gonna do something i'm so glad he just never was able to get to, get you. to you and it was his son who he who did he something got, who he who got. got to yeah who he got to yeah so they said it, it took him a while como para decirle a su papá que fue and was this man a producer or something yeah and then the worst thing about it dude is that he only got like 16 months in jail <gasps> yeah because it was like so late like yeah, i don't know yeah, yeah, i don't know like, like the, the way it what? works in hollywood is so crazy like it's it's different i don't know i mean it yeah. shouldn't be you know but yeah <laughs> he only got 16 months he's supposed to register as a sex offender and now he's still working in hollywood yeah around kids wow it's weird it's it's so weird the way that even happened but in my head i'm just like as i'm seeing the documentary with roland i'm like it's crazy it's that on netflix it's on hbo max oh. yeah the the justice system fell so many kids it's yeah. crazy you know but then they asked the dad like how did you feel when you found out that it was drake that it had happened to and he's like i've never been the same since then and he starts crying and i'm just oh. like oh my god me dio mucha cosa yeah. you know and uh you can tell drake se siente mal porque él se alejó de su papá porque si no se hubiera alejado and dad he's would like, have been protecting him. Yeah, his dad would have been protecting him. Still looked him. out for him. Yeah, because yeah. he's like, uh, he's like, but you know, like, cuando alguien tiene esa malicia, planean todo. Like, yeah, they know exactly what to do. Él cómo meterle la cabeza a Drake. Oh, your dad's stealing your money. Your dad's doing this. Because of your dad, you're not going to get this next role. So he fired him yeah. as his manager, you know. And I'm just, which it can happen. Some parents don't have the best interest, interest, interest in yeah. their kids, you know? Yeah, or they do really want to take advantage and take your money. Yeah. Or take up the biggest cut and say, like, no, it's because I know what's best for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if you guys have not, um, obviously, there's, like, a lot more that happened, you know? Uh, did you ever watch The Amanda Show? The Amanda Show? The Amanda Bynes or, um, yeah, The Amanda Show or iCarly. Like all the shows. Oh, okay, yeah, my niece. My niece would watch that. So, salen uh, different scenes, you know, mm -hmm. like about how the the producer or director, Dan Schneider, I think that's his name, like how he would treat the kids. And it's so crazy. Like, like los trataba bien feo. No los, no sexual abuse, you know, but there's... In a way, some type of abuse. Yeah, because you could see like Ariana Grande, like there's one where she's supposed to be squeezing... um juice out of a potato and it's like a sexual joke like Why? if you look at it because 
It's like if she's like, and she's like grunting and like trying to moaning just to, to squeeze out the the juice out of the potato, you know. Yeah. But it just looks wrong. Yeah. Now as an, as a kid, you don't even see that. Yeah. Porque no tienes la mentalidad así, you know. Yeah. Pero ya como adulto, like as they play these videos, you're just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Actually, yesterday I was watching SpongeBob last night. Yes, I was Sponge- watching SpongeBob and I was like, what the hell did Squidward say? He was singing a song and he said, and all the customers can kiss my ass. <laughs> he said that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, like, yeah, me don't watch and SpongeBob. I was like, wait, what? Did he just say they can kiss my ass? <laughs> <laughs> I was so shook. And yeah. I was like, no, I think he said abs. <laughs> yeah. No. But I, no. no, yeah. No, yeah. Like, yeah. and it's crazy because Roland's like, as a kid, you don't see these things. Yeah. But then as an adult, you're just like, oh, no, that's not okay. Like, for me, Bluey is one of the best shows. It's como kid friendly. It's kid friendly. super and parent friendly, too. Yeah. It's like lessons for parents and lessons <laughs> for kids or whatever. That it's not fair. Milo got it from Bluey. Mm. Like, it's not fair. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's some crazy, you know, stories that mm-hmm. I had, like, on the back of my mind that I'm just like, let me tell Alondra, because I know Post-it's going to talk about the Nickelodeon thing, but mm-hmm. I know they go into different... They go deep down yeah. into it, and then they start talking about freaking Disney and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, completely whole sideways and conversation. And then the Illuminati... Yeah. Um, Which I know Roland is really passionate about those topics. Not, what do you mean? Yeah, like he'll get mad if you tell if you tell him like, yeah, the Illuminati's real and everybody's a puppet, blah, blah, blah. He's like, nah, like, you know, <laughs> no, that's not true. Like, it's so funny because you can hard. see how they go at it, you yeah. know, but I'm just, and that sometimes I'm just like, man, we, we need to plan our next guest because it was great conversation with Nicole, you yeah. know. Um, but with that being said, guys, uh, I know I talked a lot this episode we're here we're here to hear you we're yeah it's been two weeks we <laughs> no, knew you had some in your well, chest I know. <laughs> well no you know there's so much that i want to talk about yeah. you know but um, next time that we're here i'm gonna talk about my anatomy scan you talk you had it already no not yet so i'm gonna have it like in a week oh okay yeah. oh how exciting so you're gonna be 20 weeks already mm-hmm. oh my god next monday will be 20 weeks i want to know how much she's weighing right now like, I want to see. Does she moving a lot? Mm-mm, I don't feel her. I don't know. But I went to the doctor, like, probably two days ago. And they're like, oh, she's good. She's just not moving, but she's good. Yeah. Mm, and um, you need to drink, like, orange juice. Para que se mueva. Para que se mueva. Orange juice y Dr. Pepper. Mm-hmm. Y chocolate. But I know you're, like, into your healthy stuff. So orange juice would be something to help her move. Yeah. And um, what was I going to say? Have you thought about a name? No, we haven't. We're not set on a name. No? What are y'all's options? We only have one option right now. What is it? Um, Evelyn? Hold on. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it? Anna. Anna? Mm-hmm. With an E? Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, just Is Anna. it H-E-N-A or E-N-A? E-N-A. I love short names. Mm-hmm. I like it. Anna? Hmm. I can see it. It depends. I have to see once she's born. Yeah. I like if I have a like, say, right? Está bien prieta, no. <laughs> no, 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 no parece como una hena. Hena. <laughs> But um, but that's cute though. I love short names. I'm actually like telling Roland, I'm like, I have saw all these names. He came up with it. He did. Yeah. I have like these names in my head, you know, that I'm like, oh, I like and they're it. for a girl, huh? And they're for a girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I have some for boys too, mm-hmm. though. I think we're set on the boy name, and we have a boy. Yeah. Um, but I have. For sure, if I have a daughter, I really want a, a name with the letter E, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so with that being said, guys, baby E. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so she's doing healthy and everything? Yeah, she's good. Mm, that's good. Like when I when I pee on the little cup, they check for like if I'm peeing protein or if I'm like. Um, if you're good with your exams yeah. and stuff, your mm-hmm. tests. Oh, that's good. Well, I'm Her super excited to see what they tell you about the... I would be like, I cannot believe that I'm doing bad because I feel great, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Well, with that being said, thank you, um, Destiny, for the goodies. Mm-hmm. Esteban, you have one week to reach out to us. And yeah. if you do not, we have the names in the back right here. Yeah. We'll draw another name the next episode we have to make sure you watch dude yeah yeah we have to make sure and make sure you send us a screenshot of your um what do you call it that you're subscribed i know you are but still send it yeah <laughs> with that being said guys see y'all next time bye Peace.